Hello, I'm Margaret Court. My message today is overcoming fear. God's scriptures are operating in the earth today. The word of God is the same yesterday, today and forever. We're not to fear evil. Fear has torment. Fear can destroy your dreams. Fear will stop you from stepping out into uncharted waters. Fear is a form of worry and care and stress. If you worry and stress long enough, it will affect your body, your emotions, your feelings, and even make you sick. Even medical doctors agree on this, but God has given us a way to overcome. In 2 Timothy 1.7, it says, God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and love and a sound mind. We have a spirit of power and love as Christians. Perfect love casts out all fear. Don't have anything against anybody, offense or bitterness, because it affects your life. Forgive and forget. 1 John 1 9 says, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Come to the Lord in prayer. Philippians 4, 6 says, be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be known unto him. Cast all your care on him, for he cares for you. Don't keep bringing all your cares to the Lord. He said, make known your request, which is the answer. Then he tells us to think on the good things in verse eight. Finally, brethren, whatever things are true, whatsoever things are noble, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things of good report, if there's any virtue, and if there is anything praiseworthy, meditate on these things. Verse seven says, and then the peace of God, which passes all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. There's nothing like the peace of God. His peace and his thoughts are the word of God. It is your answer. Think on God's word. Fear leaves. It has no hold over your life. That's why it's important to meditate on scripture instead of the problems. We speak the things we desire to see and thank and praise God. His word is working in our lives. In verse six of Philippians four, he said to make your requests with thanksgiving. Thank him. Fear has no hold over your life. The love of Jesus is shed abroad in your heart by the power of the Holy Spirit. Say out loud, 2 Timothy 1.7, God has not given me a spirit of fear, but of power and love and sound mind. Say fear has no hold over my life. The love of God is shed abroad in my heart by the power of the Holy Spirit. Perfect love casts out all fear. I'd like to pray for you. Let's pray this and you believe and you receive and experience. Expect God to do what he said he would do. Father, I just thank you. I thank you, Lord. We come against the spirit of fear around people's minds. We bind it in Jesus' name. It has no part of their life, Father. I thank you, Lord, as they think on the answer. They know the greater one lives on the inside of them. Everything they're going through is overcoming and temporal. I thank you, Father, that their soul is washed with the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen.